poolside. Hey guys, Brady here, back from Gas Mask Gamers, here to make a tutorial video, this one's gonna be nice and quick. I'm just trying to make it like a smallest tutorial, just so you guys know, and um, yeah, I'm gonna teach you today how to make a thumbnail. It's pretty simple actually, how I do them at least. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, you're gonna want to get the thumbnail um, template kind of thing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your internet browser. Um, you're going to look up YouTube. Search. I'll close that out. I'm sorry. And then you're going to go here. And then you're just gonna, from the front page, pick something. It doesn't matter. Just right-click on one of the videos. Save image as, and then just save it as whatever you want. I'll do lo 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 lo. Save, and then you're done there after it's saved. Now, what you want to do next is gonna want to open up Paint.net or whatever other software you have. I have Paint.net because it's better um, than anything else. So yeah, open. This is all the thumbnails I actually have right now. If you see them all, they're all quite. Well, in my opinion, they're quite nice. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go find the um, thumbnail we just saved from YouTube. And that would be this one right here. As you can see, this is the thumbnail. It fits around the front page. So, um, yeah, today I'm going to be exampling a Minecraft uh, thumbnail for you, but you can do this any other thing. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back into your internet browser. No, you're going to look up Minecraft... Screenplay, or s no, no, you do Minecraft shaders. That'll, that'll give you some better results. Minecraft shaders are real nice, right? So, what you're gonna want to do is just gonna want to um, take a random one. We'll work with this one. Click um, save image as. Just it'll give you a random name to start with, and then boom. Once it's done. It'll say there, and then you just exit the internet back again. Alright, so now you go back to paint.net, you're going to go on a file, open, and then you're going to want to go and find where you saved it. To me, personally, I have a whole bunch of them, so I'm just going to open up this one here. You're going to want to take this selection tool, and you're going to want to make a huge box around it, and select the whole thing, and then you're going to click copy. And then you go back into your original thumbnail, and you're going to want to click paste. You're going to want to keep the canvas size because that's what you need to work with. You need to work with the thumbnail size. Next, you're going to want to hit shift. And then you're going to want to drag this and just make it smaller. You're gonna, you have to hit shift because you need to keep it in equal interval, intervals. So yeah, shift until you can make it the size that it fits in. By the way, if you want to know how to zoom in and out, at the top there's this little zoom in, zoom out kind of thing. So I just do that. And then you see the two little black lines, you want to keep the thing inside there. Hit shift again, and then just make it bigger, big enough for it to fit. There we go. Exit. Now, boom, you have a background. For example, I'm going to file, open, thumbnails, here. See this? This one has a little bit more black, just because I'm dumb and I do it like that. <laughs> so yeah, this, you're going to be kind of making one like that, but it's going to look really nice, alright? Now, when I go to text, you can pick whatever text you want. You go into fonts and pick whatever you want. I personally have my favorite, Minecraft 3. I'm going to click white. And when I go down here to layers, you want to click add new layer. Now, with the text button still selected, you're going to make the font a bit bigger, like 22 maybe. And I'm just going to type out Minecraft. I'm going to center it in the middle of the thumbnail at the top. And then boom, there. You can click effects object, outline object, and then see how it's all white already? Yeah, you want to put it to black. By the way, right now I'm using a custom uh, paint.net packs, which uh, allows you to do a whole bunch more in this paint.net than uh, your normal one if you just download it. So I'll put the pack in the description so you can do all the things that I'm doing right now, and that's pretty important. So, um, yeah. Anyways, you just have to download it, it's pretty simple. Now, once you've done that, you want to click OK, and boom, you have a big Minecraft thing in the middle. See how it's looking pretty much the same? Now, under it, you're gonna, I'll just do the thumbnail for this um, this video, this tutorial video, and then 
under it, you're gonna wanna click again. With the, you wanna click the new layer, make sure you have a new one. You're gonna click, uh, for example, whatever you're gonna title a video has. So, uh, Minecraft thumbnail. Thumbnail, and then add another layer. Tutorial. There. Boom. Now you have it all selected. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to click effects. Repeat outline objects again so they're all the exact same. Do that for this one too. So boom, they're all selected and glossed up in sexiness. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click the original layer which was layer 2 which has just Minecraft and you want to click this wand here. Hit shift and select all. Like click on the white here so you select all the white. Now next you're going to hit the gradient and then go down to the colors and right click on this gray button. Now this is a pretty hard procedure here. I've taken a little while to master it but it's um yeah you'll see. So what you want to do is you're going to go to the bottom of this Minecraft text here and you're going to click I'm going to left click and then you're going to drag up. As you can see it makes a little nice gradient effect and uh, yeah so you want to click up until you see this little dot here, so you click from the bottom up to where the outline goes to, and then you can have a nice little gradient. Like so. Now, for usually what I do is I put the layer 4 and layer 3 together. So what you can do, you go down to layers, and you, have, you select layer 4, and then you hit this merge layer down. So it connects to layer 3, and it just becomes layer 3, both of them in there. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the gradient again, which you should still be on. And then pick two random colors. For example, I'll pick um, blue and red. Now go to the you still in the gradient, but go to the top here. And there's a whole bunch of different options. Usually I pick this radial one, which is just like a circle. And then in the middle of these two texts here, you're gonna just click the circle. With, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, ah, disregard that. You want to click the magic wand before you do that, and you're gonna hit shift and select all of it just so that doesn't happen, so everything doesn't become a gradient. Now I'm going to go back to the gradient and do the, what I just tried to do, but I failed. I'm going to click the middle and then just pull out so your red, um, you know, comes to comes into effect. So boom. Exit. And now you are pretty much done. Now all you have to do is merge all the layers down into the background. And boom, you're done. Now what to do is file save as... Um, go. You can make a custom thumbnails folder here. Um, save it as whatever you want it to. What do you ever want? What you want to name it as? So I'll do Minecraft thumbnail tutorial. And then you want to save this type PNG. Save. You can click OK, and boom, you're done. You can exit out of Paint.net. Um, don't worry about that. That was just the first thing put up. And, uh, yeah, that's how you make one. It's pretty simple, actually, and you can do whatever you want. If you want to do Call of Duty or anything else, you just go on um, Google and you search up Call of Duty um, backgrounds and stuff like that, and then you just put them in the background of the thumbnail rather than Minecraft Shader. But, yeah, you get the point. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>